Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Alright, so today we'll be upgrading an old iMac 21.5 inch from late 2012. And let's see how well does it fare in 2020 standard. So let's find out. Okay, so let's start by talking more about this iMac. So I bought this iMac on Carousel, which is a seller marketplace, similar to eBay and Facebook. So I got this for only about 150 Singapore dollars, which is about 107 USD. And this iMac packs a quad-core 2.7 GHz Intel Core i5 processor, 8 GB of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM, 500GB of hard drive, and an NVIDIA GT640M with half a GB of VRAM. So this is definitely a good deal comparing to other listings which I found, which easily sells for about three to four hundred dollars. And yeah, you must be thinking, how do you get it for so cheap? And yeah, I would say that there are definitely some flaws on this. So firstly, as you can see, the display at the bottom corners, there are some marks on it, some black color marks on it, which I have no idea how it even happened. I asked the seller and he said it might be because of dust or dirt that went into it, which caused this, but I literally have no idea. But however, it doesn't affect the screen at all. The screen still works perfectly fine and it's still functioning very well. And in fact, the marks as you can see here are only visible on a light background. On a dark background, you can barely see it and it is almost non-visible. So another thing is the fan inside the iMac is making some weird noise, especially when it is on a heavy workload. It will definitely crank up and I think the fan might be broken, but I will not be fixing it in this video. So if you would like to see another video of me fixing the fan, let me know and I might consider doing it. But other than that, the iMac is working perfectly fine with almost no cosmetic damage on the exterior. There are only a few scratches, no dents at all. So here are some benchmarks if you are interested. Okay, and Geekbench 5 gives a single core score of 717 and for multi-core score, it gives 2321. And I tested on Unigine Heaven to test the GPU and it gives a score of 406 and 16.1 FPS. Okay, so what I will be upgrading today is the hard drive as this hard drive is very old and it's definitely making the iMac feel very slow. So I'll be exchanging it with WD Blue 250GB SSD which I got for about 60 Singapore dollars which translates to about 42 USD. And as I previously stated in my other video where I revived my old Acer laptop and if you're interested in it, you can click on the iCard to go and check out the video. And I said that the SSD should be the first thing that you upgrade to from a hard drive and I'll tell you, it is a night and day difference. Okay, so with this iMac being a late 2012 model, it is the first iMac with a slim build which annoyingly requires me to tear down the adhesive in between the screen in order for me to get into the parts. So with a guitar pick, I slowly made my way around the display to remove the adhesive strip and to loosen it so it will be easier to take out the screen which obviously took me quite a while but you will want to be very careful with it. You, will, you want to go slowly because you definitely do not want to damage any of the wires or cables inside. So after that, with the adhesive loosened, you can slowly peel out the display and there will be two wires connected to it and you need to remove them and then after that, set aside the display and for me, I put it on my bed because it is a soft place and you definitely do not want any scratches on the screen itself. So next, I dusted out the fan and the bottom of the iMac as well to improve thermals and performance. And next, I took out the SSD which I already installed Mac OS on before putting it into the iMac. And in order to put the SSD, you will first need to remove the hard drive which is already in the iMac. So you have to unscrew the bracket. Unplug the SATA wires connected to the hard drive. And after that, install the SSD into the rubber casing and ensure it is secured in place before you put it back to the iMac. And after that, once you put it back, you have to plug in the wires back again. And finally, screw on the hard drive with the brackets again to secure the SSD in place to make sure it doesn't move around. And that's about it. The upgrade is almost done. But first, before replacing the adhesive strips, you have to first remove the old ones to ensure there are no more residue left on the edge as it might affect the stickiness when you apply the new adhesive strips. And secondly, take out the screen and plug in the wires first in order to test it 
before you actually stick it back in because once you stick it back in, there is no going back unless you want to do the whole process all over again. So make sure you test out first to make sure it powers on. And for me, as you can see, it powers on. And yeah, that's about it. Once you ensure that it's working perfectly fine, you can attach the screen back on. And as you can see, the iMac is booting up right now. It takes about 30 seconds for the iMac to boot with the SSD compared to a minute and 45 seconds on the old hard drive. So this goes to show how much an SSD can improve and can change the overall performance of the entire iMac. And now with everything working perfectly fine, it is blazing fast now when I use it. And I'm using it for my everyday task like web browsing, watching Netflix, watching YouTube, and also writing the script for this video as well. But not to say that with the old hard drive, all these are not possible. They are possible, just that with the new SSD, you can definitely feel that it is much faster and snappier. And yes, you will be very happy with this upgrade. And let's say you do not want to break into the iMac, you don't want to rip everything out. You can actually get an SSD enclosure. I recommend a USB 3.0 as this iMac 2012, it has a 4 USB 3.0 ports. However, do note that for iMac 2011 and before, those I'm pretty sure are using USB 2.0. And definitely, USB 3.0 is the way to go because it is definitely much faster than USB 2.0. So yeah, definitely I recommend a USB 3.0 and yes, it can all this will save you all the hassle. And in fact, I've tested it with the SSD enclosure compared to the internal SSD speed. And I would say the speed is almost the same. You can't really feel the difference at all. The boot time is about the same, maybe a few seconds faster on the internal SSD. But overall, it's definitely much easier to just stick with an SSD enclosure. But the reason why I want to break down the iMac is because first of aesthetic because I do not want the SSD enclosure lying around my table. So yeah, that's one reason why. And the other reason why is obviously is because I want to have the fun experience of tearing down the iMac and putting SSD in. I really have fun doing it the whole process. And also when you tear down the iMac, you can dust out the fan and everything to improve thermals and performance. And yeah, with that said, that'll be it for the video. Do let me know what other products you'd like me to do a review on. And yeah, that'll be it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Peace out.